Joining us to talk more about that, uh, Cowan, Washington strategist Chris Kruger. I thought we initially said June, and now it, it, I don't know if it's earlier. It's about the same time, right? And, and nobody knows. It has to do on has to do with uh, uh, factors that, that we don't know at this point, like tax receipts. That's exactly right. I mean, right? It's, is it a smidge or a morsel? Is it you know yeah. June, July, August? It's it's right. Well, right now it's June fifth because the ultimate. Uh, you know, this is run by the golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. That's the Treasury Department. Yellen has pegged the date uh, as early as June 5th. But to your uh, uh, to your point earlier, tax day, uh, this is always a moving target based off receipts. We'll see around April 18th, uh, this year's tax day. Uh, and the expectation is, is that this is probably a, you know, an August, September date, but uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but right now it, it is June 5th. So when we see the president say no negotiations, but then we see Speaker McCarthy exit uh, the Oval Office or, or, or meeting with, with the president and say, eh, we're, we're talking and there's things going on. Do you see a path forward, Chris, that both sides, we, we hear about saving face a lot from, from other countries about how you, you extricate yourself from these, these positions you have. Do you see a way out where both sides are going to be able to save face and we get through this? What's it look like? You. Yeah, we I mean, we do. We're still in very early innings. I mean, we've probably finished the preseason. We're into maybe the first inning. We'll see President Biden's budget on March 9th. The House Republican budget will come out around April 15th. Uh, there, you know, there's an old saying in Washington, whenever policymakers are on the edge of a cliff, what do they do? They, they build more land. And you have sort of uh, an escape hatch here. Uh, from Senator Mitt Romney, it's called the Trust Act. And what they would essentially do is, you know, kick the can uh, on the debt and the deficit to a rescue committee. They're not going to call it a super committee because the super committee failed uh, in 2011, which is how we got sequester. Uh, but you essentially kick the underlying issue of debt and deficit to a rescue committee. Um, you raise the debt ceiling and, uh, you know, you live to fight another day. You do have a number of fiscal cliffs on the horizon, though. So at some point, right, you are going to have to address this issue. Um, you have the expiration of all the Trump tax cuts at the end of 2025. And then you have Medicare insolvency issues coming into play in 2028. So at some point, you, you will have to address this. Uh, but until either the, the market forces that or you literally run out of runway on some of these issues, uh, at the end of the day, they generally delegate to uh, to a committee. So do, do you think that the American people are, are, are served well when one side says you're going to cut Social Security and Medicare and then the other side says, no, we're not going to cut Social Security? And, and so both are being you know, accused of something that probably needs to be talked about in some way because there has to be some type of modifications. But if either side says we need to look at it, the other side is going to point and say, you want to, you know, push granny over the cliff in a, in a wheelchair. That, that's where we are right now in this, in, in this milieu, the current milieu. It's not, it's not helpful. Right. Well, I mean, I, I, which is why, you know, 2028, which isn't a, a super long way out, when you do have the, the popular entitlement programs uh, starting to get into solvency issues, and we saw we saw this previously in in the 80s and uh, and other times. You know, you you would the, the hope is that you would get some type of rescue committee with sort of the adults in the room. Uh, you saw this with the Simpson Bowles Commission and uh, around the last big fight on this. Uh, but again, we're we're in very early days, uh, and it's more sort of time to to make political uh, political points as opposed to you know policy decisions. Uh, at some point, you know, the, you, you will run out of, of runway. Uh, but keep an eye on Senator Romney and a handful of others yeah. uh, with, uh, with the Trust Act setting up a, a special rescue committee.